I got this job. And long story short, I started dating the manager. So we kept it a secret because our company has a pretty strict, uh, like, no dating policy. Fast forward, like, two years, I get promoted to, like, a corporate position. You were promoted above him. Yeah. And I've made up this whole elaborate lie about, like, who I live with to them because they, they can't know it's one of the store managers, you know. It's this big disaster now. Hello? Hello. Hi, is this Chrissy? Um, yes, it is. How are you, Gek? I'm doing all right. How are you doing, Chrissy? Pretty good. Um, Chrissy, what is your life like? What's going on today? Um, just chilling, doing laundry. Not really anything fun today. Are you talking about like, is my life cool today, or what is my life like in general? I uh, let's do in general. Um, I'm a pretty busy person. I'm not here maybe more than half the month or so due to work. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> Well, okay, well, let me just bring something up here because we, you have a thing that you called in to talk about and we could talk about that or we could have a meandering conversation about just nothing in particular. All right, so, um, how do I narrow this down? Okay, so like three years ago or so, I got this job and long story short, I started dating the manager of the store Mm -hmm. and... Um, (laughs) it kind of like, it was very secretive at first and it kept going on and on and like, it's this big disaster now. Um, so we kept it a secret because our company has a pretty strict, uh, like no dating policy because of HR issues that have happened within the company. And so we kept it hush and also my brother works there so like it would be very weird for him to find out that you know this is going on um so fast forward like two years um i get promoted to like a corporate position and (laughs) um pretty much like I got, he was like kind of okay with it at first, like he was kind of, he was supportive, but I could see that like, he was kind of jealous, and that made things a little rocky. Um, Oh, he was jealous that you got promoted? Yeah. He didn't Uh, say anything. You were promoted above him. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. like now I have to tell him what to do, and sometimes like things yeah (laughs) and so um yeah it's going on like three years now and still nobody knows you know like and um so my brother he doesn't know still either right my mother knows about everything and she's also keeping it a secret for my brother and (laughs) so i was thinking about telling him but He started to have issues at work and my boyfriend, you know, his manager as well, was giving him like write-ups and stuff because my brother, he earned it though. Like, or not earned it, he deserved it. But, um... Okay, so let me me get this straight. Your brother is getting into some shit at work. Yeah. (laughs) He's, he's, he's fucking off. You are secretly Mm -hmm. dating his manager who has been, uh, giving your brother... Uh, a hard time about all the fucking off that your brother is doing. Right. And so my brother started getting like, after work, if we, I'd be at his house or hanging out or anything, he would just start talking crap about him, like how much he uh... hates him and this and that. So now I really can't tell him. And, you know, now, you know, we live together now and I go on business trips very frequently for my position. And, People are, people are always asking, like, you know, what's my 
like back home, like blah blah blah, you know, just small talk. And I made up this whole elaborate lie about like who I live with to them because they they can't know it's one of the store managers, you know. And so yeah, and so my friends really don't like him. They like actually so your friends. Your friends. Uh, so who does know? Your friends know. Yeah. So my immediate like close friends, my mom and like one aunt. Why do your friends hate this guy? Um, well, he's a lot older than me, and he they feel that he's kind of um, manipulative, and, like, he gaslights me a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have tried to leave him before, not only due to the fact that I was, like, getting stressed out about the fact that we are hiding this, but also, like... I just, I don't want to, like, date someone that I work with, you know? Okay. You said you you tried to leave him. What does that mean? Um, <laughs> well, he, like, I would break up with him, and then, like, we still work in the same place, you know? I didn't leave jobs, and so things would just circle back over again. But yeah, I moved okay, into so the you, rent really cheap. So you you tried to leave him, but then you guys you know were sort of had to be uh, uh, in touch with each other, and you kind of uh, right liked being with each other, and so you stayed together. Right. Mm-hmm. So oh man, this is, there's so many, just, so many and, angles to this. Yeah, and (laughs) so I just feel bad because, like, he's probably a little past the age where he would want... He's getting older, you know? So, like, he really wants to have kids, and I really don't want to. Like, that's just at least not here and now, and I just can't see myself with him any, like, more long-term, you know? And I feel bad that I'm, like, kind of wasting his time in a sense because i know he really wants children but i Uh, are you wasting his i mean look i think i mean look he he you you are both making the decision to be with each other it's not your fault if he is wasting his yeah right yeah that's what i'm trying to remind myself to now so i'm just kind of like pretty much i'm nervous to like leave and like just because i have to kind of work with him you know so things might be weird but yeah Yeah. so i'm against like by the way can i ask you this Uh, is this like a big chain are you allowed to tell me what like the fucking story um it is it's growing. It's very big in other parts of the world, but it's growing here. Is it Kroger? No, it's. I don't think you would ever guess it. It's not that big yet, but they're they're trying to be. I would just say it's tour. It's like um, Asian cultural. Is it? Is it Panda Express? Do you work at Panda Express? I fucking no, Express. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I'll stop trying to guess where you are. But um, I'm <laughs> <Sorry>. against <laughs> companies having like, I think it's stupid for there to be a rule that you can't date. Like, it's stupid. It's stupid for there to be a rule that you can't date your coworkers because like, the fuck is some company going to tell people what they can and can't do outside of work? I think that's stupid. Now, the rule aside, is it a bad idea to date people you work with because of all the situations you're running into? Like, yeah, totally. Um... Oh, man. So, I mean, this guy, let me ask you something. Is he not, okay. like, um, are you, is he not, like, emotionally mature enough to be, like, uh, understanding of where you're coming from with this and, like, no, kind of leave you alone? You, you don't think so? I don't think so. Um, um. Okay, What what makes you say that? 
he is very dependent. You know, like, I, I don't know. He put this big persona up at first, like, he was going to take care of me and this and that. And that's not, like, generally why I'm with someone. But it was, you know, some perks. And now I'm the one, like, holding the fort down. Well, I kind of, even when I was making less money than him, I still kind of was. I'm like, um, yeah. Wait, sorry, what was the question? Uh, I was asking you if you felt like he was emotionally mature enough to uh, kind of deal with being around you, uh, even if you guys are broken up. That's the thing. I don't think so, but... No, I don't think so. Huh. Well, listen, uh, you have this job that you seem like you like and care about and would like to stay in. And would be a shame for you to leave because of personal problems. Um, right. And you could, you could probably say the same about him. I don't know this guy, but he probably also... Likes this job. And no, he loves the job. Him too. Okay, great. It's okay. So both of you guys love the job. Um, you you don't see this relationship working out. Uh, he wants something. He wants kids. He wants like a. It sounds like he's older, and he wants somebody who can who he can like kind of really settle down with. Is that what you're getting at? Right. And okay. So another big issue is like. Like I mentioned, I travel very frequently for work, so I'm not home a lot of the time. And, like, the time that I do have here, I'm still working, but just remotely. And all my free time is filled up with, like, taking care of the house and making food and this and that. And, like, just, like, as if he's a child. Like, I'm not a housewife. That's not what I signed up for. I don't mind doing all these things, but we agreed um, before I moved in, like, that he would put his effort into, like, equal efforts throughout the house, like, you know, doing, like, chores or, like, um, other stuff. And then, like, yeah. he owes me a lot of money, too. He, 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 why does he owe you money? <laughs> okay, so, um, I went to the Bahamas with him, and I was under the impression he went last minute because his cousins were going. And I okay. coincidentally had like a week off, like out of nowhere. My boss is like, you're working like a lot. You should just take a week off. And I was like, okay, okay. say less. And it coincidentally had to, was the time that he was going to the Bahamas, right? And I thought his cousin was taking care of everything. And I had to pay for so much stuff. Like maybe around like, maybe all, not including myself, like on him alone, maybe around a thousand dollars. Just he, like so what well, he days. like said no, he was going to, to pay days. for this Bahamas trip, but he didn't. Yeah, well, like for his half at least, you know, I can pay oh, for myself. Oh, oh you paid. Fine. Oh, you paid for him as well. Yeah, and like, oh man, I paid for the room and like pretty much everything, all the food, like all the tour stuff we did, and Crazy there's like a lot of concert tickets. Not um, like... Okay, so so listen, so so you have your issues with these guys. Is the, let me ask you this just really quick, so we can I want to understand exactly where you're at with this. Is Sorry. there any part of you that wants to stay with him, or any part of you that that is even kind of considering uh, 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 building an actual life with this person? The thing is, like, I do love him, kind of. Not as much as I used to, but by the time I would be ready to settle down, I feel like he would be too old, you know, like he wouldn't be able to enjoy his children and like even maybe see grandchildren. He's not that old, but like he's 42 right now. So like um, I wouldn't be ready for another 10 years or so. You know, Chrissy. It sounds like this. It, it, for, it sounds like this is not great for either of you guys because yeah. he wants. He's older. He wants a different kind of person in a different stage of life than you are. So it, it sounds like it's not beneficial for either of you guys to continue being right. together. 
Uh, so it, it sounds like it, I don't like telling people this on this because I've only been talking to you for 15 minutes. So I'm not going to pretend like I know every single thing about your relationship. But it sounds like you guys uh, uh, should declare yourselves to have had your fun and then move on. Yeah. And so, uh, y- y- you know, you seem like you can handle that. I don't know him. I haven't talked to him. I don't know what his his ability to handle that is. Um, he should understand. If I could talk to him, you know, he, he should understand that if you're dating a person that doesn't want the same things that you want, then you're you're doomed. You're just doomed. So it is right. of nobody's benefit to stay together. So uh, ho- hopefully he understands that. Um, as so look, I mean, you should have the conversation with him. Maybe say your goodbyes, and then you're stuck with the problem of we work together. So, here's my plan. Um, my brother is leaving to the military in the next like couple months, and he lives with my mom, is supporting her. So he's leaving. My mom can't like like pay for everything herself you know she's not as financially stable so we're planning on moving in together next the beginning of next year so i'm you kind of the, like you and the boyfriend no my I ha, i'm gonna move in with my mom we're gonna go get oh, like a house okay, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. yeah and so my plan is to for, he's still paying me back the money he gives or owes me like every month he gives me money and I have to wait until I get everything back. And then when it's getting closer to moving, I can break up with him then. But yeah. Um, you know, I forgot that you lived with this guy too. You guys, you were like two yeah. liquids merged like, together in one cup. Right. And you know, like I have a lot of stuff here, like so much stuff. I can't just go, you know, like I, what, Chrissy, listen, I know this is, this might be tough to hear and I don't know if, if, uh, I'm I'm in the place to say it, but I'm going to. You sh- just do it now. And still live together. I don't I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do there, but um. Yeah. <laughs> w- yeah, I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do there, but like, you, <laughs> like do it now. <laughs> you got you got to do it now. There's no what. It's almost <laughs> worse. For you to delay it because he has no, he, I don't know if he has any clue that you're thinking about doing this. So, so things only get gradually worse the longer you delay ripping off this band aid. So just do it now, and then, and then you two can figure out how you're going to deal with living with each other. But uh, to, to to wait and just like silently resent him over dinner every night for the next however many months. <laughs> Is is not a good move. Yeah, you're right. How many months is it? I'm sorry. How many months How many is months? it until you until you can move out? Um, what's this month? So maybe like six, seven months. Find some poor sucker of a subletter on Craigslist if you can. Okay. Where do you? Can I ask what state you live? Can I? Do you, can I ask what city you live in? Is that too much information? You can guess, but I. Um, no, I don't want to guess. Either you, either, you, either you want to tell me or not. You had been there pretty recently. It's kind of a big city, but if I give it away, like, and someone that I. All right, whatever. You live in a big city. All right, whatever. You live in a big city. Yeah. If you live in a big city, you'll be able to find somebody who uh, can sublet your room. But don't wait. Do not do not sit in all these resentful dinners. And uh, uh, <laughs> don't, don't, don't sit with this in your mind for six months. That's a lot. Yeah. Uh, Chris, but... is there anything that you want to say to the people of the computer before we go? No. Just thanks for call- or taking my call. Of course. I'll probably. Good luck yeah, to you, Chris. I'm going to have to. You too. You're have to or, thanks. Bye. I have to break it to him. I can't keep doing this. We're wishing you the best of luck, Chrissy. You can do it. It's better than the alternative. The alternative. Here's the thing, and this is. I'm gonna finish with this. The when you break up, 
when you break up, it's kind of always a good thing because it was not like thing. It's, it's never things are going good and then you break up. You know what I'm saying? So it's beneficial yeah. for both of you that this is happening. Think of it like that. At right. Least. Okay. We do. Have a good night, Chris. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. I will say this about that call. Sitting with someone for six months, scheming about how you're going to break up with them, meanwhile, they have no idea, sounds way worse than breaking up with someone and having to live with them for six months. Like harboring some secret thing and going in your mind like, ah, oh, man, this is not going to, you know, that, that just sounds, <laughs> that just sounds a lot worse than just sitting in the reality of it. Hello? Hello? Hi, is this, uh, says your name is Mr. Katz? Yes, I am. How are you, sir? Uh, I'm good. What, what, where does the name Mr. Katz come from? I, I just had a cat when I was a kid, you know. His name was Mr. Cat, and so I called myself that, Mr. Cat, you know. Uh, is is that Mr. Cat or Mr. Cats? No, Mr. Cat. Just the one cat. Oh, uh, just the one cat. Well, uh, how are you doing today, Mr. Cat? Well, I'm doing all right. How are you? It's 6.30 a.m. for me. It's 6.15 so a.m. for you? Yes. What, uh, where are you calling from? So my day just start, you know. I'm from Kuwait, Middle East. Oh, so you're in Kuwait right now. Oh, yes. Oh, what, uh, what's, what's your day? I am like? from Kuwait, you know. <laughs> well, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a sunny day, you know. It's 100 degrees outside, I think. Maybe 110. Hmm. Do you have any plans for the day? Anything that you are planning on doing? Are you going to work, school, leisure time? Uh, I'm a university student. I study history. <clears throat> but today I think I have work at night. But the rest of the day I'm just day I'm just, you know, playing video games, watching movie with my friends. My uncle is here. What is life in Kuwait like? To be honest, it's uh, it's amazing. Everything is cheap right here and cheaper than U- USA. It's safe. It's so safe. I mean, I can walk like 3 a.m. outside. Nobody will talk to me. I mean, I can fill up my car with uh, gas, you know, like uh, $10 maybe, $12. Hmm. When uh, have you ever been to the U.S.? No, to be honest. Hmm. Have you been to uh, uh, places that you could compare Kuwait with? When you when you say it's safe, have you been to a place that you felt was was unsafe? Not really. I mean, uh, I'm out a little bit out of town. You know, desert is next to me, so I go like to desert. Nobody cares. You know, I walked in the city, and it's okay. We don't have a police, to be honest. It's not like USA. You see police everywhere. No, it's just safe. There, hey, no our police, p- police don't have a gun with them. Yes? Really? The police don't have guns in Kuwait? Yeah, they don't mean to, to be honest. Hmm. Well, how big is Kuwait? Is Kuwait, uh, uh, how, how big is the city? I mean, if you look in the map, it's not that big, but when you live, it's just, it's so massive, to be honest. I mean, uh, I can drive like five, six hours, maybe seven hours in the Kuwait, just Man, in the I've city. Always, I've always wanted to go to Kuwait. What, what, what country is Kuwait in? I'm, I'm stupid. I don't know anything about geography. No, the country is called Kuwait. Oh, Kuwait is, okay, I'm... Fuck, I'm so dumb. I didn't want to admit that I didn't know. Okay, I didn't want to admit that I don't know whether Kuwait is a country or a city. 
and I was waiting for you to give me some sort of context clue that would inform me of the answer without me having to ask, but I, it is revealed that I, I no, I thought so. So it's a, no, it's, a it's okay. It's, I mean, it's, uh, it's a normal. Everyone thinks it's a city, to be honest. But it's a con. Um, what <laughs> do you live in a a small city or, or in Kuwait, or do you live in one of the bigger cities? Oh no, I, I live in a big city. I mean, uh, I need to drive like an hour to uh, in the old city. You know, it took me half an hour to just just exit the city to go in the another city. It says you wrote uh, for the call screener that you feel life in Kuwait is an epic adventure. I mean, uh, if you want to have an adventure, like, you know, every people just go to Europe, to Asia, you know, mountains, nature. You come here, just look to city. We, uh, in Kuwait, we have the biggest mall in the world. It's so massive. I mean, I, I can walk like three, four hours. We have so many things. We can go and do activities in the desert. I just, I don't know. I don't do a lot of things. I just study right now. But I know there is a massive thing you can do. What is your favorite of all the things you can do? Uh, I think, uh, I like that we have everything here. Everything around the world. We have everything from US, China, and all the world. I, I, I have to ask, Mr. Cat, who are the people that we can hear in the background? Oh, it, it's my uncle talking, uh, the recording for Snapchat. Uh, so <laughs> actually, oh, he's, he's reading the comments. You know, he's, he's... Oh, oh, your 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 uncle is sitting and reading the chat. Yeah. <laughs> well, I usually tell oh, callers we, not to read the chat, I mean, but I get... well, I uh, you and your uncle are the same age. Oh yes. I usually tell callers not to read the chat, but I guess if you have somebody else with you reading the chat. No, I'm not Sorry, actually. No. I'm just it's looking at the point. window, you know. Uh, um, uh, I live in right now an apartment. I see the main street, you know, cars just going, coming, sunrise. What's your relationship with your uncle like? A friendship, you know. He's a cool guy. I live with him. He go to work. You know, we play video games all day. He's saying hi to everyone. I don't know. I think people say. He's an old gamer, you know, he's playing since 19s, I think, maybe 18s, I don't know. <laughs> and, well, it says you're 20, so is he, is he also 20? You said he was the same age as you. Uh, 25, I think, it's just five, four years between us. Okay. What? Tell me about the rest of your family, your, your, your mother, your father, you have a good relationship with them? Uh, yes, uh, actually, I have a good relationship, you know, with my old family. Everyone like me. And Do you for the, live with your. F- I, oh no! Go ahead. No, I just my uncle told me that someone is asking is al- alcohol is illegal? Yeah, it's illegal. It's not allowed in Kuwait. Uh, but yeah, I'm living with my parents. Alcohol is completely illegal in Kuwait. Yeah, you can sell it, but, uh, but uh, you can somehow, you know, with like, just uh, drug dealers, you know, you know those people. Right, Black so market, you, you can. Mr. Cat. <laughs> Mr. Cat, I gotta ask you, and listen, this is a safe space, all right? Me and the people listening, we won't tell. Yes. But have you uh, yeah. have you ever gotten drunk before? Uh, just the one time, yes. <laughs> and how was that for that one time? I, I just, I don't remember what happened, to be honest. I was in a party and I just... don't know what happened. Yeah, I don't know what I d- drank, you know? <laughs> Okay. I mean, I have, have a... a bottle or two in my house. <laughs> did you have a good time? In the party, you mean? Yeah, at the party. Yeah, actually, I was going with my British friends. You know, just. You said you said you went with your British friends. Uh, are there a lot of uh, international yeah. people in Kuwait? Oh God! There, yes, yes, there is a lot. Uh, actually, there is a. A place near the patrol, there is just all American people, you know? Really? Uh, uh, we have a uh, space force, I think. Base, uh, American base, we have their military base. It's not allowed for everyone, but, you know, they have everything. Alcohol. So we, I can buy alcohol from them right, in the base if I want. But Interesting. It's so there's still alcohol illegal. allowed on the military base, but not anywhere else. Uh, yeah, just Americans, you know, they like to drink. 
What is uh, allow for them, not for uh, people? Who... What, what what do uh, <laughs> uh, what do people uh, living there who are who are local to Kuwait? What do they think of the uh, the foreigners, like the Americans that come to live there? Uh, they don't care, to be honest. I just like everyone. We have uh, many. Inter- I mean, uh, people, uh, Indian, Egyptian people are more like more than the Kuwaiti right here. You know. Mm-hmm. In Kuwait, it's almost five million, and Kuwait is just like a million. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's mm-hmm. an international country. You know, we have it from everywhere. So, what is yeah. your your goal in life, Mister Cat? What what, do you, what do you, I don't think we got to. You, you might have told us what we what you study, but I I forget. What is it that you study, and what is it that you would like to do? I study his book. Uh, well, I want to get a PhD. I want to be a professor in the Kuwait University or any other university in the world. You know, I like to teach people. Do you do I a lot of? I like to travel the world. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Do you do a lot of traveling outside of Kuwait? I went to Iraq during the war. after the war, the last war in the Iraq. Uh, I went to Bahrain, Lebanon. Turkey, I went to Iran, uh, so many places. Do you have a, a place of all the but, places you've been to that you found the most interesting? Oh, God. I mean, except the media, I like Iran. It's a, it's a beautiful country, to be honest. It's just the mountains are great, you know? It's everything great. The people are great. Not like the thing I used to see in news or your people see news in media. Why? Why do you think the? Uh, I, I. What's your problem with the uh, Iranian media? No, not the Iranian media. The non-Iranian media, like uh, the, let's say the Fox News. You know, they say it's all wars and shit. Uh, I went to Iraq. It's uh, safe. I went to Iran. People are so you know they're so funny. I lived in the house with them. Not uh, terrorists like, uh, I'm sorry for the what and the Twitch, but uh, not like the things they show. Mm-hmm. Dude, I got to say, I am, I'm like dying to, to, to go to the Middle East and do some of these. Uh, I do this like talk to a gecko series where I interview people just on the streets. Mm-hmm. And I, I would fucking love Come to, to Kuwait. Like, in Kuwait or Iraq or Iran. I mean, you can come here. I, I'm here always, anytime you want. You can save my number hey. if you want. I actually might because if I go, if I go, let me ask you this: In Kuwait, how is there a big English-speaking yeah. population? Everyone talks English. Oh, everyone speaks English. I mean, they study, they, they teach English in the school since the first grade. Hmm. Yeah, we have an American university, a British university, so many colleges. Okay, cool. All right, I might. Oh, uh, we have church might, like might, uh... for Christian people too. I might, want, I might want to come over there, and it's always nice to know a local. No, no, you can talk to everyone. I mean, uh, even the old people talk English. You can go to church. I mean, uh, if you're Christian, there is a lot of Christian people here live with us. It's okay. So you were talking about uh, uh, sort of how the media portrays Iran. How do you feel like uh, non-Middle Eastern media portrays Kuwait? I mean, everyone think Kuwait is a cool country. I mean, they don't have the trouble with any country in the world, except just one or two, maybe. But everyone likes Kuwait. Everyone respects it. I mean, no one is talking bad about Kuwait. You can go to news. I mean, USA helped Kuwait a lot during the Gulf War, the second Gulf War. And now they're helping with the COVID and those things. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Can can Americans go to Kuwait right? I don't know if you have any idea about this, but can, can Americans go to Kuwait right now with COVID shit? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just saw in TikTok yeah, like uh, three days ago, some people come like a group, a family, I think, for a week or two. They staying here. Hmm. So you said you love to travel. Are there places that you have not yet been to that you are on your list? Like a country or places in Kuwait? Uh, anywhere. I guess. I guess I, I meant countries. Well, uh, if it was to me, I like to go more to Asia, not the West. You know, Europe, USA. I mean, I look at them everywhere in the in Instagram, Snapchat, everywhere I go. 
I want to explore places that nobody go. I, I actually I applied for a visa for North Korea, but I didn't get it for because of the COVID. Wait, hold on. You tried. To I, go to I was Korea. going that. Oh uh, yeah, they give they give us a visa. Yes. What, what were you trying to do in North uh, Korea? I was going for a. Dude, it's an epic adventure. I just want to see the country, you know. I just want to go vlogging and you know talk to people, anything. Yeah. They told me to try again, like uh, in the next year. Enjoy me. You wanted to go, you wanted to do a vlog there. You said. Yeah, I mean there is a few vlogs in the YouTube you can see in Arabic language and English, but yeah, I want to be one of them. I want to explore the country. I want to see the dictatorial. Maybe it's a good, uh, it's a good country like Iran. When everyone says the bad, but actually it's a good. I don't know. I just want to see with my own eyes. I like that. You seem like you got an adventurous spirit, and you seem like, uh, uh, you know, as you said, you don't want to take anyone's word for anything unless if you actually are able to see it with your own eyes. Uh, yeah, well, I guess actually, you'd be yeah, seeing I, whatever version of I it they would, they would let you see, but. Uh, I, sorry, I didn't hear that. Oh, I said, I guess you'd be seeing uh, actually, you know, whatever I version of it. Yeah, yeah, sure. You can ask me whatever you want. Uh, in the old country and everything, we don't have tax like other countries. I think there is a few countries that don't have, like us and Saudi didn't have, but now they have. So we don't have tax and everything. You said you don't have That's taxes. why everything is cheap. Yeah, we don't pay tax, you know, like oh, tax yeah. for the hospital, for the car. So yeah, if you guys taxes, don't, if yeah, you don't pay tax, how do how does the Croatian is that what you use it? Croatian? Kuwaiti. How do, how does how does the Kuwaiti uh, government uh, make any money if you guys don't have tax? I mean, they sell so many oils. They have so many things to deport outside. Uh, it's basically everything free. When I go to a hospital, it's free. I get free medication, free cares, uh, anything. Any any anywhere I go, it's just free. You know. Damn. Even when I buy a car, I just pay for the car, not and the extra tags and the protection and the blah blah those things. Kuwait sounds pretty tits. Yeah, I mean that's a good thing to live here in Middle East. Well, Mr. Cat, you know what I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do for the end of this call? I wanna I'm gonna let your uncle read the chat. And if the chat has any good questions for you, your uncle can ask. I stuffed that. I go to Kegel. I'll come in back. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, so, Kuwait is paradise. He say yes, <laughs> and he say hi to everyone. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, "I mean, I... just flexing on us." <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it just is true. You know, if you want to live easy life, just come here. You know. You, I mean, I study in the university and I get and I got paid every month. You know, the university just give me money like three hundred dollar every month. University just study. gives I don't you pay money anything. while you're studying. Yeah, I can study to masters. And there is a question. He said, "What's your favorite food dish?" I mean, we have every restaurant here. American restaurant we have also. But I like uh, Arabic food more, like uh, Majboos Diya, it's called. It's a rice with a chicken. You know, it's uh, so delicious. Everyone like it. Uh, somebody wants to know how the air conditioning is. I mean, it's a uh, hundred degrees outside and in the house it's so cold, to be honest. I'm wearing a jacket, I'm wearing a jacket right now, you know, heavy clothes. Somebody said, uh, we have a strong Kuwait... Someone says, how is Kuwait for women's rights? I mean, they have their rights, you know? No one care. No one say, no, we don't have it, blah, 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 like any other countries. They have their own rights, you know? We respect them. They respect us. We live together. We have actually, in Congress, we have women in Congress, so many women in Congress. They're not talking about women, the rights. The woman, the so right, can they drive? They can can women drive in Kuwait? Someone asked that. Oh yes, they can. Yeah, yeah. They can since I don't know fifty years ago. So many years. 
Someone said, do they have recreational drugs? Uh, I'm going to assume if they don't have alcohol, they don't have weed. They don't, but you can also like alcohol, you know. Okay. What is the if, if if you got if you got caught with alcohol or weed in Kuwait, how bad would it be? Like what would you know? Like what what would the what not would the bad? Be? You just go. If you go for a jail, just maybe one night, they release you. Nothing bad. Yeah. It's easy. Someone wants to know uh, okay. what gay rights are. Anyway. Like. Oh, okay. About that, we don't have LGBT's rights in Kuwait. I mean. It's not like we hate them, but they got away, you know, they don't go to jail, they punish it. Just nobody cares about them, okay? You can live your life the way you want. We don't give a shit like with everyone saying. <laughs> Alright, that sounds like a sounds like an answer. Um Chat, any other questions about Kuwait? Any other questions? It uh, says weed illegal in Kuwait. Yeah, it's no it's not a criminal, it just if they got you with a weed, you will get away. You will get away. It's okay. Just one night jail. All right. Last question. Someone wants to know uh, what club, the club no. scene is like. Uh, okay, just uh, private clubs. No, it's not so public. Everyone. We have the music festivals. We get people from all the world. You know, Japan, American, Italian, everywhere. Um. Oh, actually, okay. This will yeah. be the last question. Does anything suck about Kuwait? You've been saying all the good stuff, but every no place is perfect. You kind of glossed over the gay stuff a little bit, but anything what? Sucks, what? what let me ask what my is bad answer. about okay. Kuwait? Okay. Uh, what do you think about Kuwait? Is there any anything sucks? Yes, I can tell. He says say. That, oh, that's why I'm asking. Uh, you. He's... Okay, there is a little bit racist between, like, let's say, in for an for an Indian people, you know, just because they're just a worker, you know, just work. I mean, I don't know how to say it, but it's not thinking that you will notice. It just you think sometimes you see, not always, from all people, say, especially. Did you say racism? Not for everyone, just for Egyptian and Indian. I mean, to be honest, they deserve it. They, they just destroying the country. If you want, <laughs> if you want right, to well, do it. I won't get involved in that. But, uh, Mr. Cat, is there anything that you want to say to the people of the computer before we go? Uh, it was nice to talk to you guys. I guess nice uh, 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 someone Mr. asked, Cat. we have a crispy crisp donut. <laughs> you have what? Look, let, just, let, let me just say anything, okay? A uh, crispy donut. Someone asked in the comments. We have. Uh, Every restaurant, every American restaurant, everything you can name, we have it there. It just the difference is we don't have pork. That's all. Well, um, Mr. Cat, thank you for sharing with us. Uh, I feel like I got to know. I, I, I'm dying to go to Kuwait. I might hit you up if I if I end up going there. I mean, we it's can just, do a little thing. We could do a gecko video. Save my number if any time you want to come. Okay. Just give me a call. You're always is this a real here. number? I, mean, is I, this have a, I assume don't have to go to hotel. I assume this is the uh, this is a WhatsApp number. Uh, not actually. I think it's a fake number. But uh, okay, I can send you I'll my real it. number. We'll if you want. But, uh, but thank you very much for calling, Mr. Cat, and uh, wish you a good uh, rest of the day. I know it's I know it's it the was a pleasure of your talking day. to you and and uh, hope it's uh, yeah. Hope have a, I think it's a night night for you, right? Yeah. Okay. Tell, tell your uncle. Uh, happy Fourth of July, actually, and uh, yeah, he's uh, he's saying Happy Fourth of July and Good Night America. He's like, <laughs> hey, have a good morning. Have a good rest day. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. If you can handle like a little bit of racism and uh, uh, ambiguous gay rights. And no pork, then uh, come to Kuwait. Hello. How are we doing? Is this Rob? Yes, this is this therapy guy. Call? Yeah, how's it going, Rob? Uh, not too bad. How about yourself? Um, not too bad. Uh, well, it says here, Rob, that you have dabbled with ecstasy for the first time this evening. 
Yes, I did. I'm feeling kind of weird as I sit in my room and just stare at my white walls. Are you are you rolling currently? Uh, no, this is about an hour ago. Okay, and how did um how did the experience fare for you? Um, I don't know. I mean, the whole thing of leading into the experience is just me being thirty five year old man losing my life, going down the drain, getting a divorce, losing my house, losing my business. Kind of just peer pressured me into doing something different tonight, and it's around a couple friends, and they decided to see if I wanted to try something new, and I said, sure, why not? I have nothing else to lose in life, so let's just go for it. And uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So the losing your life, you losing business, losing divorce thing—is that you, or is that your friend? No, that's me. So I was okay. hanging out with some friends on, try to clear my head and right. try to wrap my head around. Some Unfortunately, just wound up getting wrapped around a drug that I've never done before instead. Okay. So, you are you, it says here you're 28. Is that a lie? You're 35? Uh, no, matters. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just on it. So, my birthday is 87, so I'm 35. I'm just okay. all over. Like I said, I'm staring at the white walls, experience so something I've never done before. So, all right. So, I mean, how much, <laughs> how, how did you, how, how was the experience for you? Did, would you say, would you rate it a good one or a bad uh-huh. one? It was alright. It wasn't that bad. It was actually it was actually pretty cool. I'm actually determined whether I should try some more or not. If I should turn to something else. Okay. Well, let me, let's let's dive into some stuff real quick because you're saying all these bad things. You got a divorce. Your business is failing. Uh, what not? But when you're on ecstasy, I find that you're you like can't. At least for me, I I, I find that I can't think of anything negative. I find that my brain is only focused on all the positive feelings in life. Did you find that to be a similar thing? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really had anything. I mean, I'm in a happy mood right now. It makes me forget. Okay, exactly. exactly. Right now. I'm talking about right now. Yeah, right now. Yeah, I feel like I'm just like on top of the world and I have nothing to lose. Oh, yeah. I feel like nothing can get in my way. Like I can just go out and do anything I want to do right now. Mm-hmm. What do you What do you want to do? Uh, fix my life. Try to go back up from ground zero. Get back to where I was. I don't okay. know if I want to do it again because, just like I said, it makes you forget about everything in life. Oh yeah. I mean, the only thing I've ever ever done. Besides trying that tonight, just smoke a little bit of pot here and there, but tonight was the first, so I don't know if it should be a last or if I should go for it again. I just, I don't okay. know, I don't have nobody I really talk to. I mean, a lot of my friends are drug addicts, so it's not like I could turn to them for my problems. Um, so just with losing my job, not having insurance, not like go see a therapist or anything, they're expensive out of pocket and I don't have that kind of money. It's true. They are expensive. Um, so, okay, so you don't... All right, so what, what's the laundry list again? You you got divorced, your business is failing. There's a third thing. What's the third thing? Uh, just a divorce, my business failing. Pretty much just everything in life going wrong, pretty much. I forgot what the third thing was off the top of my head. Do you, to be honest, do you have kids? Kind of... I do not have kids. Okay, that's great. I feel like... I've always felt like... if Unless if you have kids... Or go to jail. You can kind of, you can bounce back from anything. I think you can bounce back. What's your name, Rob? Rob, I think you can bounce back. I mean, yeah. I, if you had kids, you'd be fucked. But you don't have kids. That's great. Um, so you're not really responsible for anyone except for yourself. That's great. Um, I think you can bounce back, Rob. What do you? What, what was the business? Can I ask? Um, I was actually owning a power washing company. I was doing power washes of houses and stuff. Okay. And it's just Why, the state I live in. What happened to make it fail? Uh, uh, I don't know. I just feel like the state I live in just isn't good. Like, I live in Connecticut, so it gets cold. It gets hot. You can only do it, like, three months, four months out of the year. So, I don't know. I just tried to run with an opportunity. I feel it just wasn't the right one. So, I just don't know if I should try to take a different course. Maybe find something else. Mm-hmm. What, uh, do, do you have a job? that you do in addition to the business or was the business your only income? The business was my only income. Okay. 
Uh, is there a job you could pick up while you try to start a different business? Um, I mean, I can try, but I don't know if this is going to... Well, I don't think ecstasy. I don't know if that will affect the credibility of taking drugs. I don't even do drug tests anymore. It's been a while since I had a job. So I don't even know. I'm kind of just find, swinging this, it. So. Hold on, hold on. Well, So if you were to find another job, what would the industry be? Would it be like for a different power washing company? Probably truck driving. I don't want to be a okay. truck driver. Do they drug test for truck driving? Um, well, I know you got to go for your CDL. So out here, I mean, I don't know how every other state is, but I know out here in Connecticut, you got to go get a CDL. If you got to pay for school, you got to take a class. You go for school for about six months to a year, depending on what CDL you're going for. And, uh, you know, then it all goes from there. So I'm assuming you got to apply for a company or they help you get a job from once you're out of school and everything. So. All right, so it's doable. Sorry, my bad. What happened? I'm freaking out trying over to kill. Here. It sounded like you were trying to kill a fly. I don't know what the hell that was. I'm just like bugging out right now. These walls are just freaky. Are you? Are are you? Was that? What was that noise just now? Oh, that was my wall. I think I just put a hole in it. Did you? You punched a hole in your wall? I think so. I can't see. It's dark. Okay. Hmm. Why punch the holes in? What? 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 Who is that? What the fuck is that? Oh my god! What's going on? What's happening here? What the fuck is going on? Rob, what are you saying? I don't know. There's like these black shadows everywhere. Is that Rob? Are you sure it's not just a shadow? I don't think so. It's dark where I am outside. Was it you just yelling just now? I think I see somebody walking by my house. Are you alone or are you with people? I'm alone right now. Where, 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 where were your friends that you were hanging out with earlier? Uh, Brantford, I think. Like an hour, like a half hour from where I live. You were hanging. You were hanging out with them a half hour. Yeah. How how did you get home? I think I drove. My car is in the driveway. All right. Rob. Yeah, I'm still there. Rob, I think I think uh, walking. I think you should, I think you should I think you should go to sleep, Rob. Should I take anything to go to sleep, or should I just try to fall asleep? I think you should try to fall I asleep. Know. I think I think you should, Rob. Rob I think you should fall. Rob, listen, I'm gonna tell you this. I, I don't think you're fucked. Okay, I mean, I mean, I if you're you open drive. What the hell is that, bro? Rob, are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. This thing is freaking Rob, me out. It's like a black. Oh. Rob, Rob, who, Rob, who are you yelling at? I think Rob. somebody's trying to come to my house. Rob, I don't think any. Rob. Hello? Are you there? I'm still here. I'm just trying to see who's out here. Rob, how are you feeling right now? Dizzy? Rob, okay. you should go to bed. I don't even know where my bed is. Where's my bed? Hello? Rob. Rob. What the fuck is that? I think somebody's at my door. Are you sure? I don't know. I hear it slamming. Hello? Rob. Hello? Alright. I, I don't know. I think, I think it's alright now. Okay. Are you feeling better? I just need to go smoke, I think. Alright. What? I think where I'm where at. are you right Rob, where are you right now? Uh, I'm at my house, I think. Okay. I'm on like a porch. You're on a you're on a porch. Yeah, I'm like on a porch with screen screened in porch with on the outside of the house. Okay. Hmm. Rob, I, uh, Rob, man, I, 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 you sound like you're bugging out. I think you should go to sleep. I'm just smoking right now, I'm trying to calm the nerves. All right, man. That was that's okay. Well, like, well listen, right now, I just that's a, go ahead. Talk to you when I just you know, came across because I watch Twitch a lot and I seen your 
you know, your Twitch. I said therapy guy goes. So I figured maybe if I talk to somebody, just uh, try to keep myself calm. Mm -hmm. I think I should How do you be feel? fine now. How do you feel now? Do you feel calmer? Yeah, I'm smoking now, so I'm feeling calmer. Okay, good. Is I there, think everything Robbie, is okay. Rob, is there anything else that I can help you with before before we go? No, no, no. I, I appreciate everything. I think this really helped out. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that, Rob. Um, listen, I'm gonna say this before we go. I really do think that um, I think you can bounce back. I think you should find some kind of help. Uh, I know it's hard uh, if you don't have insurance to find a real therapist, but uh, there are a lot of ways you can do it. You know, there's local community okay. centers. There's uh, you can go to the university, talk to some of the uh, graduate students there. Those are two options that I've researched before. But um, stay safe, man. Don't uh, don't don't go don't go too crazy, you know. Okay. Try and... Of course. Thank you. Of course, man. Are you, are you feeling okay? You have... Yeah. I'm just run some motions yeah. out, but I appreciate. It. Have a great night. Of course, man. Is there is there anything is there anything else you want to talk about before we go? That's it. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, man. Listen. Like I said, I think I think you're gonna bounce back, Rob. Thank you. That's the most positive thing anybody said. Are you, um... Who, who lives with you? Can I ask you that? Just me by myself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what, what time is it? I think on? I should be. Uh, 12 o'clock in the morning. 12.30. Okay. What do you What do you got going on tomorrow? I'm uh, just gonna relax. I think maybe play some okay, good. games. Going. Good. Hmm. Rob, do you have a? Do you? I know you said that your friends are. You you said your friends are drug addicts. Do you have like? Do you have friends that that you talk to regularly who, I mean, who I have are one that has, drug addicts? Just one, but he's like all the way out in Florida. Mm -hmm. so kind of far but I mean I talk to him sometimes he helps me helps me through mm -hmm. a little bit mm -hmm. do you uh, do you have do you have uh, do you have parents that are that you have a good relationship with I do but I do but I don't talk to them as often mm -hmm. do they do they live with, uh, no, in think, the same uh, area as you uh, they, they do about an hour about an hour away from me mm hmm hmm but just that's a whole other subject. That's you know, just for my mother meeting a boyfriend and just being with him over her own son. So you know. Mm -hmm. but, oh, I guess I'm just trying to survive. That's all. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think I like you said. Maybe I just need some rest and just try to find myself a therapist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. no, I don't know. There's just so much stuff mixed in with everything. Mm -hmm. oh. Man, you know, look, I meant, I meant what I said. I really do feel like, uh, you know, obviously, if it sounds it sounds like everything that's happened to you has been very. It's like, it sounds like it's a recent thing. All this stuff happening. Yeah, it's, it's been building up somewhat over the past year. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like, um, and I'm not a real therapist. I'm a stupid guy in a gecko costume on the internet. But it sounds like, um. Uh, it, it, it it's all happening like right fucking now and you're like dealing with it emotionally right fucking now so you're like really feeling the heights of all these emotions right fucking now and all these uh, emotions yeah. are maybe like making you feel hopeless and whatnot but I think if you get a little bit of rest I think if you be a little patient and you let some time go by and you let the emotions understandably the emotions are very high right now but I think if it, and trust me on this if you Give yourself some time. You be a little bit patient. And you let the emotions cool down. I can tell, and I can tell this because you started your own business before, and not a lot of people do that. 
I can tell that you have a oh. uh, a logical, ambitious mind. I think if you let the emotions mm. kind of simmer a little bit, and then you let yourself have enough time for your head to be cleared, I think that you okay. are the type of guy that you're going to see a nice way forward for yourself. I appreciate that. Thank you. And uh, as far as your comment about being stupid, Geico, you know, I just, I, I feel it really helped. I mean, you know, I think you would make honestly a great therapist. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. No problem. Uh, how, how are you feeling right now? Do you feel like uh, you're winding down? You're about to go to bed? Do you feel like you're staying up? I don't feel like I'm winding down. I think I might step foot into the house and try to go lay down. Okay, cool. I need you to do that. Yeah. All right, yeah, I am home. I'm at my house. Okay. I think I was just zoned out. Like you said, all these emotions coming together at once. Yeah, dude, it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot. But just pl please, I, I don't know what you're thinking about or anything, but... Get, give be patient with yourself to let the emotional highs cool down. Okay. I think that's something I could try to do. Okay, good. Oh sorry, I just farted. Oh, my nice. Oh my stomach. I think I gotta use the bathroom. Well thank you again for everything. I appreciate it. I'm gonna sure, sure. try to get some rest now. For sure. Um, Rob, good luck to you. I think there's a, a, a good path forward for you, and uh, I, I really do hope you have a good rest of the night. Thank you. I appreciate you, too, and thank you for everything, sir. Of course, man. You have a good night. You, too. Love you. Bye. Love you, too, baby. I liked Rob. I did. I think I think he's gonna be okay. Sounds like a lot was going on with him. Sounds like a lot was going on with him, and I I think uh, I think if he's patient and he lets the uh, uh, emotional highs of everything that is going on with him kind of play out their course then uh, he'll 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 be able to use his clear-headed mind to move forward <laughs> <laughs>